hi guys welcome or welcome back again to my channel today i share with you this simple yet delicious ghana beef jello fries recipe with you all so without wasting my time let's dive right into it so to a pot i'll go in with my freshly washed beef to season this beef i'll also go in with some garlic ginger and onion powder freshly grated garlic and also some meat seasoning powder and a little bit of salt to taste i'll mix it all together i will allow it to steam for about five minutes and afterwards i'll go in with a little bit of water to cook very very well all right so whilst that is going on let me also use this opportunity to thank you all my returning subscribers and new foodie members right here you guys are amazing thank you for always liking my videos sharing and commenting on my videos fam i am very grateful if you haven't still give this video a thumbs up yet baby what are you waiting for please give this video a thumbs up don't forget as well to subscribe to this channel and be part of this beautiful family thank you so much for doing that all right so after steaming the meat for about 10 minutes it is ready so i'm going to be removing all the meat from the pan and for the stock around eight i'm going to add a little bit of water to it and set it aside yes we are not wasting anything out today all right So to a heated pan i'll go in with my cooking oil moving forward i'll also go in with my cooked beef i'll fry until everything turns into the perfect golden brown color that i'm looking for for the oil you can as well use any cooking oil of your choice all right so now let's fry until it turns into the perfect golden brown color just the way you're seeing it on your screens right now at this point it is all ready and perfect so next we're going to start by making a stew so i'll go in with some chopped onions and don't worry i'm going to be listing everything i used in the description box for you to check it out i will allow the onions to lose in sap for about five minutes and afterwards i'll go in with my blended pepper and a little bit of onions i'll stir very well and allow it to cook on low medium heat for about five to ten minutes all right so after frying the stew for about five minutes i forgot to add in some bay leaves so so there you go adding bay leaves to your jello stew really makes it smell really good and also add extra taste so it's all right so i'll stir very well i'll cover and allow it to cook for extra 10 minutes on a low medium heat and afterwards this is how it looks like it's looking all good and just perfect so moving forward i'll go in with my tomato paste if you want to substitute the tomatoes for fresh tomatoes why not you can go ahead and use it everything is totally to your taste i'll go in with just a little bit of water i always do this because i really want my tomato paste to really cook down very very right so i'll stir very well cover it and allow it to cook until it's nice and ready and remember to check your tomatoes from time to time okay all right so after extra 10 to 15 minutes of cooking the stew it is all ready and perfect so next i'll give it a good mix and at this point i'll go in with my seasonings and for seasoning of choice i'll go in with some gel of stew seasoning powder stew seasoning powder nutmeg and a little bit of salt to taste i'll stir very well i'll cover and allow the spices to also cook down a little bit all right all 
all right so we are back to check on the stew once more and it's doing all perfect and very delicious so next i'm going to set some of the stew aside it's always advisable to do this because you might not need all the stew for the jello fries all right so moving forward i'll go in with my washed rice you can use any rice of your choice i'll stir very well until the stew mixes well with the rice afterwards i'll go in with my beef meat stock and a little bit of water to cook the rice and the salt wasn't enough so i went in with just a little bit of salt i will stir everything together and at this point you can also check if the stew is enough for the rice if not you can go in with some of the stew that you set aside all right mix it all together cover it and allow it to cook on low medium heat until the rice gets ready remember to cook your jello fries on low heat i repeat on low heat if you really want your jello fries to really come out very good then cooking it on low heat is the best option ever right and also this is about five to seven minutes of cooking it on low heat i'll keep it a quick stir cover it again on low heat and let it cook for about five to ten minutes and afterwards you need to stir again at this point i have less water in it indicating that the rice is in good shape right now so i'll give it a good mix and i will also cover the rice with a clean napkin to help cook the rice very fast you can also use parchment paper or aluminium foil to cover your rice to help it cook very fast but i didn't have it so i needed to go in or use the napkin to help retain the heat inside so that the rice will cook very very fast all right all right so after extra 10 to 20 minutes this is how the rice looks right now i'll give it a gentle stir at this point the rice is almost done but it's not done yet so let's give it a quick stir cover it again on low medium heat for extra 10 to 20 minutes and afterwards the rice should be getting ready all right so how's that is going on let me also use this opportunity to thank you all my returning subscribers and new foodie members right here you guys are too much high five to everyone thank you for always liking my video sharing and commenting on my videos fam i am very grateful thank you so much for doing that all right so at this point the rice is very well cooked and it's almost done so i'll go in with some veggies which i'll go in with some scallions some green beans i've already cooked it a little bit so it's already done and you can as well use any vegetable of your choice all right i'll stir very well and allow the veggies to also loosen up a little bit so now let's cover it for about five to ten minutes and afterwards it should be ready just like this fam let me know in the comment section what you think about this beef and vegetable jello fries recipe it came out so good the taste was amazing and i hope you're going to try this recipe for your family and they all are going to love it thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you enjoy it to this point that means you are always a proud foodie member do well to subscribe to my channel and be part of this beautiful family Thank you for watching.